You know what that's from? Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Uh, yeah. Come on, you know that one. Oh, God. Oh, Men in Black. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes, let's go. You better hop up on my face before something bad happened to you. Oops, too, too late. late. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is The Burn Down. I'm Justin. I'm Eric. And today we are back in the stew. Sipping some coffee. Sipping some coffee. Smoking some stogies. Just having a grand... Yo, it smells like a church in here. I think. <laughs> feeling, I'm feeling hot, holy in here. It does. What is that? <laughs> it's like the Halo song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's... I don't, listen, Whoa. I never played Halo, but that is the uh, sickest intro what? song I've never played. I don't really play Halo. Bro, Halo is <laughs> automatically associated with Xbox, like Xbox coming nope. out. Because I bought a Halo before Xbox even came out when I was a kid. I've never played Halo, but I've always heard the song. And in my opinion, it's probably the greatest intro song in any video it's game It's hilarious ever. that you said that because I was just somewhere last weekend and... Uh, she the my cousin's my cousin bought a, a Jeep and she calls it Cortana. And I'm like, Cortana, I'm like, is that a Halo reference? And she's like a big time gamer. She's like, Yeah, you're the only person that ever got that. And I was like, Let's, Let's go. Because go. I mean you don't play Halo, but Cortana. Cort yeah, never played. Oh god, that game is so good, man. I can't even I can't even reminisce because you wouldn't even understand. <laughs> you wouldn't even understand, bro. I was like what, sixth grade or so? I did play Call of Duty when I was in college. Call of Duty, but Halo just comes with that, like, like Xbox was the brand new thing, and this game called Halo was, like, supposed to be the best, and it was the best. It's the best. The Master Chief, bro? It's the best. Stop, stop it. <laughs> I, can, I wish, I wish Be you knew. Belle is the most beautiful girl in the whole city. That makes her the best. <laughs> I'm sorry, Village. <laughs> Where's that from? I don't know. Oh, you don't know that one? Belle is the most beautiful girl hate, in the whole village. Oh, is that Beauty that, and the Beast? That means she's the best. <laughs> I only know the name because it said Belle. Yeah, that's where it's from. <laughs> the line is so great. That makes her the best. <laughs> I have not seen that movie since freaking, I don't know. Oh, uh, child. 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 I have Classic. a child. I have a child. Anyways. Is this going to be another movie reference episode? We re literally referenced either movie, movie or video game. <laughs> it's like four of them in the first and it's, three minutes of this episode. I, we think we dropped like three or four different movies in three minutes. I love it. Love right. it. All right, so let's uh, let's get the... I mean, I'm going to pour you your coffee while you talk about the cigars that we're smoking today because we're both... Happy, happy, uh, uh, breathe. Think. I'm going to pour your coffee <laughs> while you talk about the cigars that we're smoking because they're both the same, just different sizes. We'll beer size out, bad boy. Ooh. Well, tempt me with a good time. Yeah. So we're smoking the J. London Golden Series or the Gold Series. This seems to be today, I have like the, kind of like the Bellicoso Robusto almost. Right? What would you call that? Right? A Bellicoso Robusto? And then Justin's got the J. London Gold Series. Lancero. Lancero. You know, Justin's a big Lancero guy. Um, I'm a big cigar and coffee guy, so is Justin. So I whipped out the J. London. Justin was like, no, I was going to smoke the Lancero with that. I said, perfect, let's have it with some coffee. And <sighs> dang, down it, here we are. I'm excited because I've heard a lot of good things about the uh, the Gold Series. It but is good. it the Gold Series? It is, right? Yeah, Gold Series, yeah. The Gold JL, yeah. Uh, dude, the Lancero is nice. It feels nice in the hand here. It feels real nice. I've been looking forward to it because I've heard a lot of good things about it. I feel like you can get two of them and have like chopsticks and eat like some right? some, some Chinese food. I remember posting about it and somebody said, I posted, I think it was the Luxury Cigar Club box and they had posted, they said, oh, that Jay London is fire. I was like, oh, I can't wait to smoke it then. Oh, you're fucking, dude, can you treat my, treat my cigar with care, please? Handle with care. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? My bad. All right. You know what? Let me take a first sip. I might want some of that cream. Let's see. I like my. What I about the chocolate? Should I bring out some chocolate pieces too? Yeah, I might have to drop it in the coffee. Oh my god! Mm. Dropping. Don't drop your chocolate in the coffee. 
Mm, I'll definitely take some cream for today. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I usually like it black, but every once in a while I like to go a little crazy. Just a little, just a little, little dab will do you. As my, uh, it's like going for the the handshake of the pound. Uh, uh, you ever, uh, you ever go for a handshake with somebody you you throw out your left hand, just uh, fuck up their day. No, <laughs> I hate. Do I, it one, do it one time, see what happens. Give out your left hand, people. Fuck, that's it. Oh, that's It'll weird. ruin their whole day. I never thought of it like that. I just can't stand though when you say what's up with someone and they go I for can't. the hand. She handshake and they go for the pound, like the pound. Or oh, that's you, annoying. You're like, uh, 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 and then you just like kind of just mush your bodies together. You're like, you're like, yeah, what's up? Bro? You like the stepbrother hug? Yeah, that's like <laughs> terrible. Here, ready? Shake, shake left hand. Shake left hand. Does that not feel so awkward? Well, it feels okay like this because we're both. Yeah, but still, it's just weird because you don't normally shake the left hand. <laughs> I can't. Well, it doesn't. Feel, I can, but it just feels weird. No, like this feels weird, right? Touching. What is that? Your left or right? But left to left, feels Bang. okay. Feels okay. It feels good. All right. Okay. Hey, I won't anyway. Anyways, I'm never oh, happening look, again. Look at it. It's rocking my coffee all over the place. So. All right. So uh, cheers to coffee cigars. Well, hold up here. We're, uh, what is this? Like? Oh, my goodness. What? I think we're like two episodes. What is this? I don't know what I, I, we're almost to 100 there, buddy. I don't know if it's a 98 or 99 or something, but is uh, this one could be a hundred? I don't know. No, it's not a hundred. What did we just release? So Stokey Chick was 97. Years was 98 that you did. So this is 99, bro. Wow. So what? What the heck is gonna be the hundredth episode? We're gonna have to do it. You know what we're gonna do? I have to have a meeting. We're gonna ask everybody, what wow. would you like to see for the hundredth? episode that is what we're gonna do we're gonna i mean it's probably it's probably gonna be this is probably gonna be released a week before the 100th episode so we'll probably put it on, out on social media anyways so i'm saying we want to know what are you guys watching over here as well and listening right here what do you guys want to see us do for the 100th episode what do you want the episode to be about we have to put a put out a, a questionnaire right gotta there. see that's, that's leave me. in the comments drop a comment send us a dm let's hear it let's hear it like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Oh, yeah, we didn't do that in the beginning. If you're new to this channel, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, and please hit that bell to be notified for every time we drop a new video. We drop an episode every single Friday and other videos throughout the week. Wherever you're listening, whatever stream platform, hit the five-star rating and follow us on there. You can head us on Instagram at Burndown Podcast. You can also check out the website, www.burndownpodcast.com. Become a member. Exclusive discounts, monthly giveaways, which we're dropping the first one tonight tonight that's right it's only five dollars a month all you got to do is sign up and you get entered into that giveaway i mean we already have like i don't know close to 20 members already which is sick every single month it's another giveaway another giveaway another giveaway so thank you everyone for being a member of the burn down website well good luck to all the contestants that are a part of it for tonight's giveaway we're looking forward to giving away a nice box so by the time this drops this would be in somebody's hand but this is uh when we're what we're giving away for the first month. And next month, we're not sure what it's going to be yet. But I feel like we're Oprah. You get some cigars. You get cigars. You get cigars. You get some whiskey. You get some cigars. You get some accessories. You get a t-shirt. You get it all. Come on Thank down. You. Burndownpodcast.com. Love it. All right. So we're <laughs> going to uh, get a sip of this coffee. And we're going to light up those stogies because I want to smoke. It's about that time. Let's do it. Chin chin. Tinkies. So, yeah, man, as expected, good right off the bat, this J. London Gold Series. I mean, I'm big on appearance, dude, in, in the... And the band is just elegant, it's classy, it's gangster. It's all types of stuff, all different kinds of adjectives you can call it. But uh, I really like the design on here. So Jay London, good job on the design here, buddy. So let's talk about 100th episode. It is coming up. So that means 100th episode. So this this episode will be in June. And July, the first week of July is two years. So two, yeah, because the hundredth episode is like a couple of weeks before yeah two our years. two years yeah. So the the hundredth episode will be Ju- June tenth. 
if I remember correctly in my calendar because okay. I marked it. I marked it down. That's when we when we drop it. That's that's will just that will just be the hundredth yeah, episode. Yeah, so it'll be June tenth. Well, everybody knows that we we film in advance, so we're yeah. gonna film it a week before that. Shit, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Well, we gotta wait for the, to see what people say. We gotta we gotta do it for the fans. You know what pisses me off? That board right there. Yeah, the one zero. I've been so I was so <laughs> so nice looking at zero zero, and then good old Stogie chick. Ah, uh, had to happen. Had to happen. Had to happen one time, man. I swear, if, there, if that's the only one throughout the whole year, I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to write a personalized note to Stogie Tree and just say thank you very much for causing Eric to drop ash on himself. You know, because I saw, like, you know, when you smoke a cigar and you're like, oh, this ash is wobbly. Mm-hmm. I got the vibes right off the bat with that cigar. I think it was like the uh, Illusion Singulare. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh boy. Oh boy. So I ashed oh boy. it. And then we were engaged with, uh, with Jackie Q, with Stogie Chick. I didn't want to move, and I was like, and then, wah, wah, wah. Happens to the best of us, baby. But, you know, if you don't rookie move, are you even smoking cigars? Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't hashtag rookie move, did you even smoke a cigar? Do you even? Do you even smoke cigars? Let's talk I was like, I would always like, especially with the Lanceros, I make sure to ask you because Lanceros are very fragile. The, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, rookie move, dude. That, so, again, that... July will be two years of rookie move. Think about that. Two years. What the hell are we going to do? I'm interested to see what people are going to say for the, for the one year. Not, well, not one year. There's a, lot of clever, there's a lot of clever people episode. out there. There's a lot of clever people out there. And speaking of rookie moves, we just got a notification today on Instagram that our, our rookie move compilation video that we made is blocked in Canada. Yeah, why is that? What... I guess because of the song. When did you post it? Over a year ago. Now the Instagram police finally caught up to us. What the? F- what the hell? No, the din 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 Why has it been a year? Now it's blocked in Canada. Yeah, because usually Instagram picks up on it like like that, like instantly. So. Well, you know what? I mean, the good thing is it's only blocked in Canada. The good thing is that we're being noticed by Instagram. I guess that's. I mean, I guess you can look at it like that. Like if that they're blocking you. I mean, haters gonna hate, right? Haters gonna hate. Lovers gonna love. Yeah, I guess. So, but it's the goddamn alarm. You know who put who put an alarm on my phone? Who fucking who fucking put an alarm on your phone? Stop the recording, damn it! All right, well we're back. Anyways, what we were saying, um, the rookie move. Oh, the rookie move oh, compilation. Yeah, we got blocked. I know. So, I'm blocked in Canada. I don't understand why. We got a lot of people in Canada that follow, watch, and listen to us. So, for some reason, they can't watch the rookie move compilation video anymore on Instagram, which is bullshit. nonsense. So That's I, some bullshit. So I, I, I didn't dispute it yet, but I, I didn't know what to dispute it because it was like this is all original content. I was like, it is, but not the song. And then one was like, I have, ex- I have exclusive, uh, I have exclusive rights. Our approval for this. I'm like, okay, well, I don't. And then the other one. It's so stu- like, you know how many people use that song? Dun, 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 dun. How many people freaking use that song? And, and don't you have better things to do than to block our dang video? Haters gonna hate, son. I'm telling you, haters are gonna hate. What are you gonna Yo, do? but your boy. Fuck. 1,200 likes. Where the hell did that come from, Instagram? Yo, Instagram, we got. Relit? Yo, what the hell? I put up a picture. I got 500. I was like, whoa. I haven't felt... I mean, I thought Seriously? I thought I was on fucking cloud nine. Then I saw your post and I was like, yeah, damn, over like, a thousand. Where Let's the go. hell did that come from? Son. And personally, I don't even think it was that. It wasn't like one of my better posts. Just me at Sophia's. Dude, and you know what's weird? No clue. This past Saturday, we had over 200 podcast downloads. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. But like random. Like at most, we would have at least... A hundred, at most a hundred, and that was the cigar stereotypes episode. But that, but that, that dropped on a Friday. But that was all. But it wasn't just that episode. It was a multitude of episodes, because we don't because uh, that episode isn't up to two hundred downloads yet. It was only like half of that, so that means other people were listening to a bunch of different episodes on Saturday. But it was wild because you look at the chart and it was like it was like weird up, up up and down up and down way up. And I sent to you, I'm like, dude, way oh, up. I, I feel, feel blessed. blessed. But I was like, damn. I was like, just. I was like, we had 200 downloads on Saturday. And I'm like, that never happens. Strange. 
But anyways, well, thanks, guys, for listening and, and enjoying the podcast yeah, and watching yeah. it. So, we, I mean, we appreciate it. We're not not happy about it. That was pretty cool to see. So um, we're almost on the way to 20,000 downloads. Only a couple thousand away, baby. 20,000? 20, 20,000 downloads. And we have 100 episodes, which is... 200 downloads. Which is 200 uh, downloads an episode. Almost. Almost, yeah. Wow. That's yeah, pretty wild. Wow. But what is a download? Is that like just when somebody listens to it? Yeah, it's someone ripping it from, well, not ripping it, once from going on Apple, going on Spotify. Yeah, and because like download makes me think that they actually downloaded it to their phone, but I'm like, that's not really what it is. They mm-hmm. downloaded it from the, the server. From the server. Yeah, well, they have they download from the, like the, mm-hmm. the, the LTE. So it takes it from the, whatever, the cloud, the server, and they download it into their, their phone to get the audio. Just 20, like 20,000. Yeah, man, I think we're like over 17,000 right now. Jeez, that's crazy. That's crazy. Man. I love the analytics. I love looking at the. Analytics. I love looking at the. I love watching, like I love the charts. Everything is so cool. Holy it's like, shit. damn, we're just a couple average dudes. Yeah, we're, we're just smoking cigars, man. Hey, we're just trying to provide some content for people out there that enjoy smoking cigars with us. Like, if you enjoy smoking cigars, if you enjoy smoking cigars over here, listening or just having a good time, just having, we just we're, we're just pro- provide. We're trying to provide content for you guys. To enjoy while you smoke your cigar. That's why most of our episodes are anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Because that's usually how long it takes to smoke like an average cigar. If you're a fast smoker and you have a small, maybe like a petite cigar, it'll probably take a half hour. If you have a regular Robusto, it's probably an hour. We just try to provide some content for you. Maybe educate you along the way. Maybe you can vibe with us. If you don't, on to the next one. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Man. my uh, It's funny that you said educational videos because we had... Uh, we had my grandma's wake service last weekend. We had everyone back in my house. And my buddy, or not my buddy, my dad's cousin's husband, great guy. Hold Joe, on a second. Your dad's cousin's husband. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it. Joey, I didn't think about that. Joey C. Joey Bag of Donuts. Joey Bag of Donuts. Joey Badaducci. How you doing? He was Joey like, man. Badaducci. <laughs> he was like, yo, man. He's like, I really love the educational stuff. He's like, he's like, because regular guys like me, I don't know crap about cigars i don't know anything and he's like all the videos that you guys make he's like they're super helpful because he's like i don't know how to cut this cigar i don't know what the proper thing is like proper things and etiquette to do and he's like and you guys provide that and i was like so what's it all about for, man. he's like can i buy a t-shirt i was like yeah you can <laughs> yeah you can let me get that reminds me of this so i was on instagram and i wound up uh this guy followed me and it was a new account brand new into cigars um, so I just messaged him. I was like, hey, man, appreciate the follow. Like, I like your page. Welcome to the cigar community. Yeah. And he goes, oh, thank you. So I'm so new to this. And uh, like, I, I'm such a noob. I, I have no idea what to do. Like, I'm still trying to learn. Any any help would be... I said, oh, you should check out our podcast. And I sent them the playlist on YouTube of the cigar how-tos. I'm like, hey, check this out. Maybe it'll help you. It might teach you some things. You can learn a few things. But uh, let me know. He's like, oh, awesome. I'll check it out. He's like, thank you so much. I'm like... That's what we're here for, man. Another day in the another day in the office. That's it, man. Dude, get, my get nose is so freaking itchy right now. I don't know. If you've probably been seeing me going like this, I had allergies. Fuck, terrible allergies last week. Like I couldn't even. I don't, have, I don't get allergies, dude. I couldn't even breathe. My I was like, Ugh. dude, so bad. So from my blowing, my nose is so dry right now. So I'm just like, oh, I fucking, Ew. Ugh. like it's itchy, crusty, dusty it just, nose. It just it, and I have my I have to get I have to get it. Trim my beard's a little long, so I have a couple of whiskers go up there. And like, you ever get that when you <laughs> had your beard? They say hi to the other guys up in your nose. When you had, a, you ever have when you had your mustache? You ever have a couple of, like? They, and you're like, ah, oh, like, of course. Ah, oh, shit. You know what's funny? <laughs> I'm surprised no one has said even you. No one has said anything about me being clean shaved for the last few weeks. Oh, I said it the first time you owned me. I said I like you better with the beard, but that's all right. Did you? I don't think we, I, I feel like we I mean, talk like, about. I like you both ways. I mean, you're you're oh, a good cat. Yeah, thanks, dude. But not I. Uh, but I'm a bearded brother, so I like the beard. Yeah. Nah. Uh, See what's work. It's a lot of it's. It. I mean, I'm indifferent. You know, I don't know how to feel. Some days I I like the beard. Some days I just like the hey, clean listen, shaved. Be thankful that you're that you're a guy that can pull off both. That you can pull off a beard and you can pull off clean shaven. Because if I went clean shaven, I would look like I was like a toddler, dude. No shot. I don't think I've ever seen you without a beard. Nope. I should have made that the bet. The Negative. Rookie moves. Negative. I should have said, if you lose, you got to shave your beard. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I don't look, I look young. I look young without the beard. 
Damn. I Although, don't... actually, I don't know because the last time I didn't have a beard, I was like a freshman in college. I had a chin strap, which was disgusting. Bro, I used to have the thin. <laughs> yeah, it was the ugliest strap. thing ever. That's what I had. I'm like, I had the thin chin strap. I had the freaking earrings. I'm mm-hmm. like, and then I had, what then was I, I had like, at one point, I just let it grow for a little bit. Um, in co- not like thick. I just kind of didn't, and it was it was shorter than this, but I let that go, and I'm like, eh. And then out of college, I had a goatee like my father. I had a goatee. And everybody's like, you like a spitting image of your dad with the goatee. And then I just grew it out to the full beard. And then I had a long freaking beard, but that was just getting burly. So then I trimmed it back to Little this. Little boy. This. Yeah, dude. I, uh, Do you remember that long beard? It was freaking nasty, man. Yeah, you. I have a picture with you on my Justin. Gotta cut it down a little Bro, bit. I looked like a terrorist. It was terrible. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? You kind of did. <laughs> but did. I did it like because my girlfriend was like... Because it was one of my bir- it was yeah. around my birthday. Remember, you know, the birthday where we went out to Patchog and I blew chunks in the bathroom and smoked a Liga Pravada mm-hmm. in the hot tub after? I think no, it was... You, you didn't smoke a Liga Pravada. You tasted a Liga Pravada. Yeah, and sure. it out. <laughs> I took one... <laughs> you smoked like two puffs and threw it out. Damn it. I think it was that night. It was that was probably the that was probably like the biggest regret of the night. I wasted a damn league. Of- <laughs> well, it was either it was one of my birthdays, but we were out in Patchogue, and I have a picture with you, and it's just like your beard is like down here, and then one you took a selfie, and you're like, and you're like, I was like, damn, that beard is long. So. Yeah, I I remember like on Snapchat it shows you your uh, memories. And I remember it was like two years ago. So I'm like, what the hell? I went to Kelly. I go, why didn't you slap me in the face? And she goes, I tried to tell you, but you were reluctant to shave it because you were like, it was like a vendetta against me because I wanted it in the first place. That's typically how it goes. Girlfriend, wife, fiance, they want, they wanted you to do something. You're like, no, nah, I'm do the opposite. Well, that was the thing. No, she, no, she had said, I wonder what you would look like with a long beard. Like, cause she would follow, like follow, found some guy on Instagram. She's like, oh, you look like this guy, but he's got a longer beard. I wonder what you'd look like with a longer beard. I'm like, oh, all right. So I just let it grow out. She's looking at other dudes, bro. She's comparing at you to dudes, do? bro. Comparing to you, dude. So I was like, uh, I was like, oh, I'll try, I'll, I'll grow it out. And then she was like, I don't like it. I'm like, well, you're stuck with it now, at least three months. And I just let it go. Damn. And she's like, and then I finally cut it, and she's like, yeah, you look better. I said, I told you. And now, and then she's like, I wonder what you'd look like with a, uh, with no beard. So we had one of those like filters that you could put on your face. But the problem is, it doesn't, like, it doesn't really show your jawline because it th- it basically takes wherever your beard is and just puts skin on it so it literally looked like my jaw was like this yeah like it was just it looked terrible you ever see the snapchat filter where it gives you the goatee and you're bald mm-hmm. well i guess you have a beard so it's not as but it's hilarious like i guess you can see how bo- how you look bald but it's freaking hilarious it's freaking hilarious that's a that's around other movie too i don't know there he goes he's like blah, blah, blah. It was freaking hilarious. I can't remember. Any of that. I gotta say though, cigar is pretty damn good. Man, man, hey, bro, we're having a good conversation. We're just vibing right now. This is great. A little it's tight, nice. a little tight, a little tight draw. Yeah, you want to get the poker out, bro? No, I, I'm okay though. This I'm is... okay. It's going slow. I feel like it's loosening up. But I tell you though, your boy might need to get another freaking humidor. I don't have no damn space in that. In that new air, dude. My I, the problem. I came to you. It's still. It's like my freaking the humidity level is like going up and down. It's like bizarre. Like one day it'll be in seven. Like because I have three different uh, um, sections hygrometers. I have the hygrometer that comes with built in already, the digital one. Then I have a digital one on top shelf and a digital one on the bottom shelf. So the middle is usually like seventy, and then the the up the top one is usually like seventy one, seventy two, and the bottom one's like sixty eight. Yeah, it's, uh, heat rises, right? So. Now it's like 70, 64, 65. And I'm like, and then it's like 65, 62, 60. And I'm like, what the, the hell? hell? I don't know what's going on. Because I, I got that new box of, of the flying pigs. And ever since I told you, I put it in there. It started messing up. getting Well, old. that's, yeah, that's then normal. I, then I took it out and went back to normal. Then you're like, well, it's the box is sucking up all the humidity. It's going to go back after a while. I was like, all right, that makes sense. But, yeah, because you're introducing a fresh thing, so then it's a fresh. Yeah. Do you take the plastic off, or you leave the plastic? No, I on? leave them on. Yeah, okay. I don't know when I open them up because it's gonna be. A, I'm gonna make a cool unboxing. Like real. I, I take it off when it's my personal stuff. But like, like the cigar box that we give away to for yeah. the website, that I left the plastic on because 
Yeah, obviously I'm giving it to somebody. A little more authentic. All right, so maybe I'll take the uh, plastic off. But yeah, I mean, it's it makes sense though because you're introducing new cigars that are going to take some of the the humidity out of the air. And then I forgot which way it works, but the the humidity is relative humidity, and you can have the same. So, like for instance, let's say the humidity in the air, the air is seventy percent water, okay, which yeah. is humidity, but your relative humidity depends on temperature. So I think, and I forgot which way it works, but like, if you have seventy percent of the air is water molecules, and it's seventy degrees, if you take this the science f- science science time the science Justin. fact, if you take the same amount of water molecules, but the temperature is like eighty five degrees, the relative humidity is different. It compared to seventy degrees, it might be like seventy one percent or six. I forgot which way it goes, but the hotter the air. Like hotter air is different. Relative humidity is different in hotter air than colder air, and it could be the same amount of water molecules. I forgot which way it goes, but that because I was looking no, it up, I'm like, why? I'm like, that makes sense because, so like in my apartment, right? When I have the AC going on, it's like 69, 68 degrees, and then if I have the AC off and like if I'm working during the day, I don't want it to be freezing during the day. I just leave it off and it goes up. And it does flu- again. And the, the humidity it, fluctuates. It does fluctuate, so maybe that's the reason. I forgot but, which way it works. And I have, a, really, I have a new, I have a yeah. new air for the people. We both yeah. have new airs. We both have the new air. He has a bigger one, but we both have the like the wine door new air. I forgot what I version. Love the, I love yeah. the. I love it. It's, it's great. great. It's great. But uh, but yeah, I forgot which way it, it goes. But basically, yeah, you can have the same humidity, and your so inside your humidor. Could actually, it could be this. It like the humidity didn't change, but your reading will go up and down depending on the temperature. Mm. But the actual humidity could be fine. And I forgot which way it works. You can look it up. I remember looking it up one day when I was setting up the humidor because I'm like, why is it fucking different on top and bottom? And anyway, well, I had something else that I wanted to freaking talk about. I forgot it. Oh, so do you see that that Julius Caesar? That Julius Caesar Eye of the Shark that I got. I did. You sent you sent me a picture of it, dude. How sick is that? So today actually is, uh, I think it's either J C Newman or Julius Caesar Day, and it's in memory of J C Newman who started mm-hmm. J C Newman Cigars. I think it was. I think his name is Julius Caesar Newman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, J C. Started Newman. like 130, 140 years ago. Mm-hmm. So today I should have been smoking it, but I wanted to save it. Um, is that is that day, and they made this specific Julius Caesar. And they gave you one? And they gave me one with this cool handwritten note or typed up note, but it had the had like the what do you call it up top? The uh like the company head uh the company header yeah, it had yeah, all yeah. the stamps on it. And you know, they addressed me and the, all, everything was pretty cool. So they gave me this cigar and it was a collaboration basically of Julius C- uh of J C Newman and Arturo Fuente. And Arturo Fuente uh, Don Carlos Eye of the Shark, you know, it's that box yeah, yeah, press yeah, yeah, torpedo. Yeah, I know that one. Well, they, that was like Cigar of the Year one year, or number two, maybe. Yeah, it was one or two, top three, I think. And they made the Julius Caesar out of it. And in the letter, he talks about, um, you know, how how Brutus betrayed Julius Caesar and, uh, like, went behind his back. <clears throat> and Brutus got in front of the whole crowd, and everyone, you know, at first was cheering him and then booed him. And, uh, I fir- you know, J.C. Newman's grandson or son was talking about basically um, Arturo Fuente letting him use his specific like uh, shape. And he was like, in the, you know, and it's kind of funny because we're both friends, but now I'm using I'm using your uh, Don Carlos Eye of the Shark same way as like J.C. Yeah. Uh, Julius Caesar. But uh, I was like, that's pretty. That's a pretty cool idea. But it's a cool freaking looking cigar, and I love the Julius Caesar. It's gonna. I be love good. the box. The box is dope. Box is that leather box with the, like the velvet inside. Class. I used to use that as a uh, jewelry box for a while. Put yeah. all my bracelets in there. It was sick. Nice. It was sick. It's really nice. Oh, I'll tell you about the um, about uh, the Catskills. So I went to I went to the casino in the Catskills. Oh yeah, no hose here. No hose here. You saw that one. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to film a video. So went to the Catskills. Went to a casino. Uh, in it's called Resorts World in Monticello in the Catskills. Just a little guy's trip, right? And I was trying... We were smoking cigars. And of course, I'm the only one who brought cigars. And everybody's like, you got a cigar for me? You got a cigar for me? You got a cigar for me? I'm like, yeah, let me just give out every cigar I brought. Um, did you Now, did you bring, like, good cigars or... I brought... Eh, okay, I don't care about losing cigars. So I brought one of the cigars that we're making um, for 
a friend because I wanted him to try it. Then I brought a Trinidad Cuban for myself. I brought a Don Carlos 2015 for myself. Um, I brought um, a Leak Bravada number nine. I brought two Kentucky Fire Cureds, the Swamp Rats. I bought or, or brought uh, two nubs. I brought a nub Cameroon and a nub um, Habano. And I forgot what the other, if I bought one more. No, I think that's everything. So it's safe to say um, you didn't give the Liga Provada, the Fuente, and the Cuban away. Oh, I brought a Padron too. I smoked a, I smoked the Cuban, and then I smoked the Liga Provada. The Don Carlos I brought home, um, and the um, Padron I wound up giving to. I gave out the Nubs. I gave out the Swamp Rats. I gave out the Padron because um, I had a second one. But anyway, so I was trying to film like for the boys. Like, oh, the boys, what's going on? And every single time I went to film, my Uncle Denny would say something vulgar. And he would say, he's like, oh, he goes, uh, uh, I, forgot, I forgot what he said, but he, every single time he's like, oh, with the hose, he goes, no hose here, don't bring the hose, don't bring the fucking hose, no fucking, I, I'm like, so I was trying to film, and I shut said, up, Denny, I'm like, shut up, Danny. I'm trying to just, I can't post on Instagram, they're gonna block me on Instagram, and he was like, oh, I'm sorry, he's like, don't, don't talk about the bitches, no bitches, I'm like, Denny, shut the fuck up, <laughs> so I, one time he was, he was like, all right, cool dude, cool dude, all right, all right, so at the very end, he was like, he goes, we're not gonna talk about the hose this time, and I'm like, all right, whatever. So I went to Denny. I was like, Denny, what? He goes, no hoes here. <laughs> and then everybody, dude, everybody was loving it. It was hysterical. Hashtag but, no hoes here. Hashtag no hoes here. But because every single time he was on camera, he was just, oh, it was hysterical. Goofball. But so I, I was rocking the uh, the Burnout Podcast t-shirt. I don't think there's anything left. Um, mwah, mwah. I was rocking the Burnout Podcast t-shirt and I was playing craps. And the guy's like, what's, what's, the, what is that? I'm like, oh, this? he goes, yeah, I was like, oh, this is my podcast. He goes, what's it about? Said, it's a cigar podcast. And you know you have the freaking plexiglass and the mask, so I got to go like, it's a cigar! I got screaming over the top. But he's like, it's a cigar podcast? I was like, yeah, my buddy and I, every Friday, we get to, we smoke cigars, we pour ourselves cocktails, uh, we just we just talk about you know life. We talk about anything and everything. Everything positive, no negativity, no politics, no gossip, none of that crap. And he goes, really? I said, yeah. He goes, that sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude. And then, and this was the dealer. So then he turns to the rest because at a craps table, there's there's the uh, there's like the dealer on the left, the dealer on the right. Then there's the stick guy who controls the dice, and then there's the man in the middle who's um, he's not like the pit boss, but I think he, I forgot they call him. But he's like the table manager. He's yeah. like the guy that kind of oversees. So there's like four guys. So he turns to all those other guys. He goes, "Yo, this guy's got a podcast where him and his friend just get together, smoke cigars, drink, and just bullshit." And everybody goes. That sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> he goes, so, wait, you guys just, so is that like basically an excuse to just like hang out with the guys? They said, yeah, pretty much. He goes, that sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's he, what kept, we he kept saying that sounds ever. like, I was like, dude, it is. He goes, I got to listen to that. I'm like, check it out. Burnonpodcast.com. He goes, oh, I will, man. Yeah. Subscribe. It was check hysterical it though. He goes, are you kidding me? He said, no. That's what we, he goes, that's awesome. I want to do that. Can't can't do it. No more room. Oh, it was just great. It's well. That's why we got T-shirts, man. A oh, walking, rock the T-shirt. Walking billboard. Walking billboard. Someone's always about to say something because be like rookie move. What is that? Burn down Fridays. What is that? I wish I could have smoked a cigar like in the casino, but you couldn't. I wound up win. I wound up winning like six hundred bucks on that table, which was nice. Perfect. Yeah, it was great. I wound up going on a heater and just winning a bunch of money. Heater. Speaking of and mass, that- dude. Speaking of what? Masks. Oh, the masks. Face diapers. Masks. I don't have to wear one anymore in the gym. Feels great. Feels great. I mean, you don't really have to wear one anywhere if you don't want to. I don't. I don't. Just pull a car and you'll be all right. I don't. I walk in until someone really tells me, oh, I don't have mask. I'm like, okay. Walk into the gym, no mask, no problem. I walk into some other spots, no mask, no problem. I have yet... To been asked yet? Really? I mean, people are over this shit. I'm over it. Yeah. So, it's almost a habit now. Like I have it, and I like go into stores, and I still put it on. And that's why. Habit. And that's why I because it's like, all right, get in my car, put the mask. I'm like, no, not doing it. Not up in here. Not up in here. Some of the restaurants are still are around here are still saying like you got to wear it. And I mean, it's privately owned, so like. Hmm. But that's okay. Like it should be up to the business owner. It yeah. should have been up to the business owner the whole time. No doubt. Yeah, but so, and I, like, I'm like, listen, I don't really care. It's it's just a nuisance. But um, for me, it's just like the overall like yeah. underlining meaning. It's like 
I'm not wearing a fucking mask anymore. No, you don't have to. Fuck out of here. Damn I don't it. know how you... I wore a mask when, when I was in Vegas. I went to the gym and I wore a mask. I don't know how you freaking work out with that thing. It's terrible. I couldn't freaking do it. The, the only advantage to wearing a mask in the gym is that when you're working out, you can make like faces like... <laughs> like as you're doing stuff. Dude, you make it without the mask. So it was nice to conceal it. Sometimes you look like a dick. You look like an idiot sometimes making stuff. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. I love doing that. It's great. So now we have no It makes master. you stronger. It does. It's, it's science. You know, there's a guy in the gym, right? There's a guy in the gym. <laughs> he's got a big old beer belly. Go for him, though. He's in the gym every day. Every time I'm there, same time in the morning, he's always there. So good for him. But he's way over dramatic, dude. Like, he's got the beer belly. Then he's got, like, dumbbells, right? Not like 100 pounds. He's got, like, 20 pound dumbbells. Ah! <laughs> and I'm like, bro, yo, chill. Calm. Like, chill. Uh, I'm like, like, we don't need the sound effects, bro. Bro, uh, it's already bad that you're making sound effects, but it, you're making like really weird ones, and it's giving me <laughs> weird images in my head that I don't want to be like, doing. Like, you don't need to moan every single rep. Because I'm not wearing headphones anymore, so I, I'm hearing it all, and I can. <laughs> like, you don't need to moan every single rep. Like the only time, the only time I make, I but make it's not a lot of weight. I know that's what I'm saying. Like you don't, if you're if you're doing a one rep max, and I get it. Like you're in a squat and you're one rep and max, and you're getting up there, and you're like ah, try, I get it. But even, you don't. You're literally doing sets of twenty. You don't need to go ah ah ah. You're doing sets of twenty, bro. Relax. And it's not even manly. It Relax. sounds like you're hurting. Relax. Uh, oh my god! I'm like, oh god. It's not like you're squatting eight hundred pounds. Ah. That's that's a get, fires you up. Oh, absolutely. But I was I told you I do that. I freaking scream myself right before right before he, like the heavy set. Like you work up to the heavy set, right? Slowly work. Now this is like last. They call it last set, best set, man. This is the this is where the this is where the work happens. This is where yeah. shit's going down. <laughs> this is where you're gonna get the best like out of your workout. This is the set right here, and you just stare at yourself in the mirror. Got the headphones in, waiting for it, and you're just like, Enter Sandman. Ah, literally, just doing something like, so I'll, like, I'll smack my, like, if I'm doing squats, I'm like smacking my legs. I'm getting like, ah, like, scre- getting myself jacked up. That's sick. And then you go into and then you, then you crush, crush it. it. See, that's a good thing about having a home gym. You can act like a complete <sighs> fucking savage. Like, oh, not saying you can't act savage. like a savage in public, like in the public gym, but you're more reluctant to, more reluctant, more reluctant? Reluctant. Re- more reluctant. <laughs> Why am I having a tongue twister right now? More reluctant. <laughs> More reluctant? More reluctant? I sound like a freaking clucking ch- chicken. <laughs> Honestly, though, when you... it, I, I don't know why, but just... It gets you jacked up. Mm. Like we talk about, go outside. All you guys, if you're stressed out or whatever, go outside and just scream at the top of your lungs. Just scream. Ah! It works. The it other, feels so good. The other day, the other day <laughs> Marissa were in the car and she goes, "Eric, I'm sorry. I just have to yell at the top of my lungs. I'm too. I have. Too, I'm stressed right now. I have like anxiety. I'm just gonna yell. I'm like, okay. Ah! And like, oh, it's like, okay, I'm good. And you, I was like, honest, I'm telling you. So when you're in the gym and you yell, look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, let's go, let's, ah, 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 and then get, Boom. dude, you're just hyped, hyped. You're like, <laughs> I won the best compliments Jack the up. other day. So I have this. I have this purple. Calvin Klein polo that I wear, right? So the other day I wore it. Marissa comes home from work. She's like, whoa. Yeah, buddy. That polo didn't used to fit you like that before. Yeah, buddy. She's like, whoa. Boy been hitting the gym. I'm like, I'm "I'm hitting them weights. I'm like, what you mean? She's like, (laughs) whoa. She goes, whoa, bro. You filling that shirt out. She goes, okay. I'm like, (laughs) <laughs> you could you couldn't smile at me, <laughs> but I, it was hilarious. She like walked in. She's like, "Hey, whoa!" I was like, "What's up, girl? What's up?" I'm like, "What's up?" And she's like, "You never you didn't fill out that polo like you used to." I'm like, Psst, "Give yeah. me, let him watch, let him watch, let him watch, let him watch, let him watch." I fucking love that scene. It's so good, so good. Tell your sister I was asking about her. Tell her to bring her friends next time. I told her she doesn't Let him watch. Wanna, she doesn't want to see you. Let him watch. <laughs> God, so good. I got five more like you, bro. I love what he's like. And you dress like shit. <laughs> you dress. Did you? Okay, so you remember that scene? That that scene right when it's Jonah Hill and Leonardo DiCaprio, and then the guy let him watch. 
and they were talking. He goes, and let me tell you, you dress like shit. And then the guy comes over and he, he punches him. him. Did you know he really he really knocked him out? No. Yeah, he really punched him. They had they were doing a scene or whatever, and they were trying to like, all right, how do we make it look real? And they were joking around, and I think like Jonah Hill Leo said like, why don't you just let him punch you? And Jonah's like, fuck, it, all right, let's do it. And he actually punched him and, and knocked him out. You know what else? You dress like shit. So fuck, fuck you. Your mother. Oh, Jesus. How about that? Dude. Yeah. I read it. So I read it like one of the, You ever have those, uh, like the movie pages on Instagram yeah, where they post they, like a little clip? Yeah, like a little fun fact. Yeah, and they were talking about that. And I forgot the conversation, but I think Leo said, like, just let him punch you. It'll be great. It'll look real. And he's like, all right. And he fucking knocked him. I mean, it does, it, it does look real, so. <laughs> Let him watch. Let him watch. <laughs> the next thing I need is I need a damn tan. I'm in the gym. I'm like, fuck, I'm white as hell. I need to get that. I need to get that olive skin complexion you gotta back. You get that tan. I need to get that tan. Did you see skin. that? The, uh, the, the, what are they called? Tanners, like the tanning uh, cream, like the fake tan stuff. Yeah. It's sold out on, on most uh, like makeup stores and everything. It's all sold out. <laughs> like, you remember having People a shortage? People don't want to go outside? They were having a shortage of uh, like hand sanitizer yeah. and toilet paper and paper towels. All that stuff is in surplus now, and they're having shortage on like makeup and uh, tanners, because <laughs> everybody can go back. Because now you can you can go back outside without wearing a mask, and now everybody wants to. I'm like, don't get me started about that. I'm like, when were people wearing masks outside? I was never wearing a mask outside. The only time I wore a mask outside was like in the beginning of it when no one knew shit. Negative. I still didn't wear a mask. Outside. It was like it was like one time, but n- no. Negative. No. 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 Especially not two masks. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Stop it. Get, Get some help. help. Just no. <laughs> Just no, 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 no. I'm not even going to go. I can go on a fucking tangent about... We're not going the to. Creepy, the creepy people no, that... No, not going to do it. Zzz, nope. Zzz. That'd be for like an Instagram live or something. But Negative. I can't pay... I can't pay... Not pay attention to all these birds. I know. They love my freaking pool. in your pool. Like, I your can't club. wait for this thing to be open, man. Got a new company coming. They can take care of everything. Let's go. We're gonna do an episode in the pool, baby. We are gonna do an episode in the pool. We just talked about before we started this this episode is when the pool's open this summer. We're just gonna pull up poolside, take a dip in the pool, hang by the the, the edge, put an ashtray, pull out the microphones. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. But yeah, I got a new company that's coming, and I told the company, I said, "Listen, I don't want to do shit to my pool. I don't want to do. I want to swim in my pool. That's what I want to do." I don't want to do shit. And they're like, no problem. We got it. It's like, I want you to come. I want you to open it. I want you to do all chemicals. Once a week, I want you to clean it. I want you to close it. I don't want to freaking do shit. I want to swim. They're like, got you. Done. I'm like, that's the, I'm like, that's the kind of company I want to work. That's the customer <laughs> service I like. <laughs> that's what I want. Okay. My dad's putting in a giant green ground pool. He's taking up the whole, his whole damn I backyard. Know. Whole backyard is going to be completely different. Dude, it's wild. Because like five, six years ago, we took the pool down. Now he's putting one in. All my my three labs are gonna have much room to run. We got the whole other side of the yard. Yeah, they do. Oh. But it's gonna look nice. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna look hella nice. It's gonna look good, son. I'm actually gonna talk to them about the hot tub too. I'm gonna ask them like, hey, listen, do you guys do hot tubs? I gotta. Full because like we though. never, I have the hot tub. But we never opened it because we weren't really gonna use it. Like I asked, the, I asked the girl. I said, are that's you guys, a sin. That's a sin. Well, I said, are, are you guys gonna really use it? How often? I said, in the winter we might use it like maybe once or twice. I said, all right, I'm not opening it. If you're gonna be in it once a week, I'll open it and I'll keep it going. But to have it once or twice because it's not like your hot tub is right outside the door at your parents' house, right outside yeah. the door. You gotta walk. Ours is like you gotta walk and it's stone, so it's kind of cold and. St- and that thing, that thing holds a hell of a lot of electricity. It, oh shit! Yeah, your bill. Would- yeah, well, that was another thing, too. I go, what's the like return on my investment here? Do I yeah. open it, put all the chemicals, and now I got to... Because it's not like a... Um, it's not a pool where if you don't want it heated... You don't have like to Like that it. one, it's a hot tub. It's heated all the time, and you have to keep Constant it... Constant electricity. You have to keep it up because... And there's more chemicals because now the temperature's hotter. And I said, not, not going to do it. Not up in here. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, the pool's heated anyway, so I'm like, just go in a freaking pool. It's like... Just go in a freaking pool. Just go in a freaking pool. Don't but drop Cubans in there, though. Don't drop Cubans in there, man. All right, man. What do you th- what do you say? Call it a day? I think we should call it a day. That was a good episode. Talk sure. about a bunch of shit. Dude, I don't have anything w- left in my call. Co- well, I have a little bit. I have a tiny little there sip. There you go. That was easy flowing conversation. That was like that was good, man. That wasn't even like orchestrated or Love acted it. or anything. All natural. So that's gonna do it for us here at the Burndown. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. 
please hit the subscribe button and please hit the bell to be notified for every single time we drop a new video. Yes. If you're listening on whatever streaming platform you're on, please hit the five star rating or the highest rating you can and please follow us or subscribe. It really does help us out. Eric, tell them about my socks. Check out my socks. They got cigars and my skin. Socks. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, check out the new website www.burndownpodcast.com. It is a central hub for all our podcasts, our videos, all the audio. But more importantly, we want you to become a member. Five dollars yes. a month, you get entered into a monthly giveaway, and you get exclusive discounts with Nova Cigar. Revive Vinyl, CigarAndPipes.com, Kansas Clean Distillery, and all for a low price of $5. $5, Harris. We're doing the first live giveaway tonight. We're going to be giving away a sampler pack of Oliva cigars, which I think holds eight cigars. Mm -hmm. So come join us. It's good. we got almost 20 members already. It's only been a month, so thank you, everyone, who's joined. But until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thank you.